questions are about concussions, so I'm just going to ask you a couple questions and just give uh, your best answer. Uh, what are some common symptoms of a concussion? Common symptoms of a concussion include headache, dizziness, the patient can have sensitivity to light in the room or outside, as well as noise. Okay. Um, how can a concussion be caused? Uh, does it always have to be like a big impact or a loud hit? No, a concussion necessarily is not sustained from a large impact, such as football. A concussion could be sustained just from a simple hit in the head from a volleyball or a soccer ball. It doesn't necessarily have to be a very like big impact. Okay. Um, what What do you do to figure out if an athlete indeed has sustained a concussion? Like if they come off the field and they say that they think they got a concussion, what are some tests that you do on the sideline? As soon as a player comes off um, or comes out of a game, we usually just ask them what they're feeling right after they got hit, as well as if we pull the athlete out a little bit later after the hit was sustained. Um, if we, we'll just look for if they have any symptoms such as a headache or dizziness, as well as like nauseous. So it all, it all depends. Um, we also do. We also have certain sidelines that we'll use. Okay. Um. What can happen if an athlete continues to play even though they are concussed? If an athlete continues to play, um, their concussion could get worse and their symptoms could become more severe, especially if they don't report it and they keep um, Do concussions have long-term effects if they aren't treated properly? Yes, they do. If concussions aren't treated properly from the beginning, um, just as if they wouldn't report it, those symptoms can worsen and it could become more severe and they could potentially um, suffer from short-term memory loss and uh, different long-term effects if they do not report it. Um, do you think that concussions can be prevented? Concussions can be prevented if proper, I feel, if depending on what exactly we're referring to. Um, with certain sports, obviously proper technique should always be taught. Um, if, for example, in football, with the way the helmet is used for contact and what should and should not be done, that can be properly taught. Going off that, what do you think the most common way concussions are caused in football specifically? Like uh, improper technique, like the, the helmets that are, you know, don't protect well enough. What do you, what do you think? I think it all, from research studies that, I, that I've that i read and, and as well as experience, I feel like it all depends on the level. In youth football, I feel like it is um, improper technique that is sometimes taught as well as just the child like not being developed. Um, in high school football, it could be just improper technique by the athlete, not necessarily that they were taught the proper technique, but they're just being a bit more careless and going helmet to helmet. Okay. Why are concussions more serious for youth, uh, like with developmental issues? In youth football, the problem with youth football is the the athletes are still growing, so their bodies and their heads, are, like just without a helmet, um, might not necessarily be proportional and they're not fully develop, developed, so putting a helmet and shoulder pads on a child that's not fully developed, um, they don't really know how to use their head and they're a little bit unbalanced, so I feel like that's one of the main reasons. Okay. Um, what should parents look for if they suspect that their child has indeed sustained a concussion? Parents should just uh, monitor the child and make sure they're not acting any different than, than normal. Um, parents are the ones who obviously know if the child's acting normal or not, um, if they're sleeping too much, if they're not being able to sleep, and as well as any symptoms that the child might report to those parents. So, so a concussion, you know, some of the main symptoms are just, you know, the headache, you might have some sensitivity to lights, kind of like how you were saying, sometimes things will be pure off, like how you said you looked at the sky and a kind of a weird color to it. Um, some other symptoms, like let's say you go to school, you kind of feel a little slow and groggy, um, you may feel nauseous, uh, you may feel drowsy or tired, it just, it's just kind of some of the common symptoms. Um, a concussion is is the swelling of your brain. So let's say you get a hit and it's an impact to your head and your brain actually shakes inside of your skull a little bit and then it begins to swell afterwards. And that's when you get the concussion. Um, and that's kind of why you tend to have the headaches and some of your senses are a little off or you may feel tired or nauseous. It's just because the brain's swelling inside your skull. Um, 
Now, concussions are really important that if you do believe you have one, even if you was just a little hit and you kind of have a bad headache and you're kind of just wondering what's going on, it's really important that you report it right away. Because concussions are very serious, because your brain is the thing that's in charge of your whole body. I mean, that's the most important part of your body, and is, is your brain. So a blow to your head um, can cause you know, serious issues with your brain. So if you don't report it right away, sometimes, you know, you, let's say you go back in the next play, and you get hit in the head again, that can lead to an even worse concussion. And there's even been cases where people have had serious injuries and died from concussions because they failed to report them. Um, concussions are actually pretty easy to treat um, in 99% of the time. If, you know, there's sometimes there's the very serious concussions where you need to have medical, you need to go to a hospital and they have to do sometimes surgery and stuff. But most of the time, a concussion, you'll come to the sideline and a coach or if you, there's a medical trainer there, they'll just check your eyes, see if your eyes are dilated because that's a, that's a big symptom asking you, you know, where you are, if you know where you are, you know, what day of the week it is, just some basic questions. And then what they'll usually make you do is just kind of rest and there's really nothing you can do to heal your brain except give it time and prevent it from being hit again. So you just kind of lay low for a couple of weeks and just let your brain do something right now. Swelling go down. Go ahead, but what did you learn? The first symptom of a concussion may be headaches. Maybe headaches. Perfect. The number one symptom of a concussion is headaches. Go ahead, but what did you learn? I learned that when you feel like you have a concussion, go tell an adult right away. Perfect. And what did you learn, bud? I learned that in football, you want to keep your head up, not head Perfect. Up. Yes, exactly. Always keep your head up. Listen to your coaching. Tell a parent or an adult right away if you do feel you have a concussion, and the number one symptom is a headache. All right, perfect, guys.